over 2,500 people every year die in house fires. But you can dramatically reduce your risk of being caught in a house fire by making sure your smoke detector is working properly. We've done this segment a million times before. Cannot do it enough. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copeland is here. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. We had a little demonstration outside with the batteries. You've got to change the batteries. But there's kind of a whole new world of smoke detectors out there, right? Yeah, I would say that most people have no idea what kind of smoke detectors they have in their in their homes. And right. there are a lot of different types out there, so mm -hmm. we're going to explain that okay. this morning. Okay, what do you got here? What is this? Okay, so this is an ionization alarm. This one is going to pick up on um, flash flames. So we're talking about like a kitchen fire. Oh, okay. Now, that is different than the photoelectric, mm -hmm. which is going to pick up on a smoldering fire. So say a cigarette that's in the couch or a cigarette that's in the trash can right. or you know on the yeah. mattress. Is there a sense that one is better than the other or, or should you have a couple of different kinds? Yeah, the house? Consumer Product Safety Commission says you should have both kinds mm. in your house so right. you are protected. Right. And you should have one on every level of your house. You right. should have them outside the bedroom, inside the bedroom. You can't go overboard with smoke alarms in right. your house. Right. Now, something else you can buy is an alarm that has both of oh, these. built into one. Built in. It's a oh. dual sensor. Huh. How about that? And they're really not that expensive. I mean, we're talking about 20 bucks. Right. You know, it's worth saving your family's life. Two-thirds of the people who die in fires, right. there was a smoke alarm that wasn't working, either mm. because the batteries were dead or the and, batteries were missing. Or and you've done these segments where you go into the place and you, you know, warn the fire protective equipment and everything else, and it takes that long for right. the room to go up in flames. We, you saw the story. We burned a house down yeah. in Chicago, and... Pff, Within two minutes, yeah. the house was, was up in flames. Yeah. So there's a dual kind that's kind of new, all right? right? What is this one down here? So this we're talking about interconnected alarms. A lot of new construction, the mm. alarms are already hardwired and they're all interconnected, wow. which basically means one alarm goes off, the they whole, all go off. What, now that's smart. So right? if you live in a big house sure. and there's a fire in the basement, right. that alarm goes off, your alarm is also going to go off that's in the bedroom. That's really smart. Now, that's if, really, if you're really in smart. an older home, you don't have them hardwired, mm -hmm. interconnected. Sure. You can actually buy them mm -hmm. so that they're wireless. So uh, you can you can go back into okay, your like home the and install Okay, like the wireless, like the computers yeah. in your house, right? Okay, and finally, what's this? Is the this is a talking alarm? This is a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide detector mm -hmm. in one. I'm going to press the button. So please cover your ears. <laughs> so it beeps, but it will also start fire. talking to you, fire. telling you there's a fire. Right. It will also tell you if it's carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide. Wow. And something else I really want to point out to parents, especially little kids, yeah. don't always wake up to alarms. Sure. So if the alarm is going off, you have to go get your kid. Don't don't depend on a smoke alarm to wake up to the kids. To wake up the kids. And this interconnected thing, there's a lot out there. And the other thing we mentioned right at the top, if yours is a certain number of years old. That's right. The Home Safety Council says if it's 10 years old, yeah. get rid of it, replace it. There you go. Susan Copen, as always, do appreciate All it. Right. You can find more information by going to our website at cbsnews.com.